Oh my gosh, what? Rain, why have you rampaged to our door? <gasps> okay, yeah, let's definitely lock him in. Oh my gosh, it's Shakes. What? No freaking way. Okay, I know we only missed one episode here, but it feels like it's been like ages since I've been in this household. We're back to some more not so berry today. With our final gen, this is the gen I play literally until they die, which it kind of looks like is happening right now because they are sleeping under the pillows and it kind of looks like he's holding the pillow on her head. But I promise you, it's just the cuddle pose when you have pillows on the bed. We have a full house in this family, which is going to make a big difference to playing compared to my werewolves where I only have to look at... Well, I say I only have to look after two people. They literally just had triplets. So that's going to be hell the next time I go there. I have kept aging off in other households just because I don't want those babies to age up into toddlers without me. Because you guys said that the babies make little holes in their sleep and I really want to catch that. But let's see what's been going on while we've been gone. Iris is still just enjoying life, working away, doing a few illegal art assignments nowadays. Her girlfriend Rosemary and her are together, but... I don't know. I don't feel forever vibes from these two. I don't know why, but I just don't. We've also got Bowen, who I checked, and he's finished his degree in the background, which blows my mind because usually when this happens, what actually happens is they fail their degree and they get put on academic probation if you're not playing in that household. But I saw that he has a degree. Not only has he passed his degree or earned his degree in biology, he also earned it with freaking honors. So I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Incredible. Well done, Bowen. And also, if you guys remember in our werewolves episode, he rang his big brother and was like, my girlfriend just proposed, which is very quick. But Rain was like, eh, go for it. So now these guys are also engaged. But he is like madly in love with her, deeply connected with her. They're best friends. Like they are just kind of a dream come true. Interestingly, I went to see what the rest of the family think of her. You know, they don't know her really well, but she is at least on their friendo list. Actually, Liv kind of knows her and she thinks that she's fun to be around but if you go to gordon he doesn't know her so well and he's like she's so into nature she's this nature maniac oh it's just like a tree hugging broccoli eating beach walking they think it's their duty to criticize everyone's life choices aren't you a left-wing politician friendo that's a bit of a weird approach but okay whatever you do you iris also in the last episode accompanied luna to the birth of her child children because rain transformed into a werewolf and couldn't detransform form in time. I also forgot that the somber wolf, you're meant to reduce fury, not change them back when they've changed into a wolf. So I kind of got that wrong. But she actually likes Luna. She thinks that she seems capable and responsible. So these two, I feel like could actually end up having a really nice friendship. Val is still in school. She's got to take her academic aptitude test. She is in private school, as you guys may remember. And she does have class in two hours. So I'm going to get her up so she can start getting ready to go into school. And I will get Liv up as well so she can start making breakfast for everyone because she likes looking after the fans. Let's have some nice eggs benedicts today. So Opal also still in primary school. She's also in drama club, but I haven't had that much chance to. Oh my gosh, Gordon retired. Oh, Gordon like full on retired. Wait, when did you do that? Oh my gosh. I still need to up her performance for her like a uh, drama school. So you do have it after school today. You need to practice acting or practice dramatics. I might get you to go ahead and do that right now, actually. Why don't you practice some dramatics? And Gordon, are you just full on retired? Did you just decide to retire without my permission? Liv did not retire, but Gordon's like, okay, maybe he was asked to step down. Maybe he was a bit too old. I feel like I need to make him look a bit older as an elder. Like his hair is still brown and he's been asked in my head at least to step down so i'm gonna go ahead and give him gray hair he's definitely looking a lot older nowadays but oh i started his graying process off hadn't i so like he was getting a few grays now we're gonna go like full silver fox i'm also gonna change his eyebrows out to like dark gray as well and i'm gonna change his facial hair too okay there we go i think he still looks pretty good he clearly does not agree and live I don't know whether to add to the age layer a bit because I feel like, you know, they're definitely old now. In fact, one of the reasons I've come back to play as them is like, I'm worried they might die, basically. I'm gonna give her a bit more eye lines, maybe increase the like aging overlays. So she's gone from this to this. She's definitely looking a little bit older now. And Gordon, I'm gonna do the same with. She's kept dyeing her hair blue. So like, you can't see what her natural hair color is. I'm assuming it would definitely be white or gray at this point. But she's one of these people that keeps doing, you know, the bottle dye. So you can't really tell. Okay, let's up yours as well, Gordon. Maybe even. Yeah, let's give you the full age package. Okay, let's look at her dramatics. I feel like teaching this kid like acting is basically just teaching her to lie really well. She's already a bit of a mischievous kid as well. 
well. She's done a few pranks at school, which is a very not so buried tradition. Like Clem did a bunch of that. She's learning to fake cry as well. Even the dog is like, yeah, this I don't like. This we should be concerned about. In fact, Bowen, I know you're having a little sleep, but you're going to have to find yourself the vet job today, which I'm really excited to try. In the meantime, do you mind taking Doggo out on? Take off for a little jogging. Okay, Val's heading into school. Why don't we do some active participating? Work real hard. If we can get you up to an A before you graduate, I'll be very happy. Iris, I'm kind of getting the vibes, is sort of like feeling quite close to moving out. That's the vibe I get from her. I can kind of imagine her like moving out to the city with a few roommates and sort of like finding herself a little bit. Like, I just feel like that's the vibe that will happen. However, I can't imagine any of them wanting to leave when their parents are this old and need like a little bit of extra help. Like she's up there fixing toilets because like usually her dad would do it, but her dad's a bit like crickly back now. Oh, actually, yeah, you kind of done a great job because dad's got up to fix it anyway. Maybe they're not as in need as you thought, you know? But yeah, they're being nice kids and like no. sticking around to keep an eye on their parents because they know that they're very old. I think the parents are getting close to their final years now. So they want to make sure parents are okay. Now, Bowen, he's out for a run with Doggo right now, Minzy. But I have downloaded that vet career and I'm really excited to give it a go. So I'm going to get him to try and sign up to that and we can see what it's like. It's not where you have to have a vet that you build and man. It's more like a send to work career. So I'm really excited to give that a go. Ah, uh, this is what I mean. Val's cheeky. Teacher had to break up a fight between Val and another student today. You've called Gordon. He's going to be like, oh my gosh, violence is unacceptable because he's not a soft touch. He's definitely the stricter parent. Okay, so is it? Yeah, there we go. Veterinarian career. So let's give this a go. This is a mod. If you search like veterinary career, vet, veterinary, vet, veterinarian. Why do I feel like I'm saying that word really badly? I don't know, but he will join as a rescue care assistant. He's fresh out of uni. He needs to learn the ropes a little bit. It's almost like his residency type thing. So let's go ahead and get him in there. And he needs to achieve level two of dog training. Oh, looks like you've got a fun day ahead of you, Vincy. But first of all, I'm going to get him some food because he's starving. Okay, we are about to potentially lose two incomes in this household fairly soon. So I'm going to go ahead and get you another gig. And I kind of like you doing these slightly illegal gigs now so is there any more illegal gigs art dealer excavates no cops perfect okay she's making another forgery nice <laughs> And I just made the vegetarian eat bacon. Okay, I feel so bad. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, eggs benedict. There must be bacon on there. Oops, his tummy now hurts. Okay, not good, not good, not good. And oh my gosh, you need to do some dog training because honestly, this dog is not good. This is a naughty dog. Okay, so this dog has never been trained. Like literally not even once. So let's start the beginning with a good old sip. And so it looks like the skills that you need to get promoted in the modded version of this career are charisma and dog training. I don't know if it's it's gonna change over time but we'll we'll keep going on these and yeah minty the dog is so cute but also really naughty <laughs> gordon has decided that he likes singing now this will be like his hobby in old age she's just gonna like sing at us all the time which is okay cool love that val is home she is oh she's having a whole mood swing right now a whole mood swing okay let's just give her a little bit of space shall we yeah both of them like immediately cleared out they're like yeah we'll give her some space if she's in a mood swing she's not gonna want to be around farms that much although she does also want to go on a dog walk this is like literally minzy's best day ever like everyone's giving her attention she's probably absolutely knackered let's face it but but uh, you're off on another walk. Enjoy. Oh, and she knows sit. Oh, well done. Okay, Opal has drama club in 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, managing a big house is so different. Drama club in 30 minutes time. You're on a C, but I don't think you mind too much. She'd be a good little actress, wouldn't she? And you've done your acting. So in 15 minutes, you're gonna head off to that. I'm still struggling to let her meet anyone at school. Oh, she has a friend, Cole, actually. Oh, I forgot she has Cole. Okay, she has one friend, her partner in crime, Cole. And once you get home, I need you to do that academic aptitude test so we can see if you're uni material, which I feel like you will be. I also kind of like, I know both. Owen stayed at home. He didn't go to uni like he, he just studied from home. And he did that like for... Wait, did I say it was Val that was acting up in school, not Opal? Oh my gosh, names! I'm so garbage at names. It was you that you got into a fight at school. Is this because you're in like a whole mood right now? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Val. Something's definitely going on with her. Oh, Rain's proud of Bowen cute. She's come home in this mood swing and she got into a fight at school. Jeez. 
But yeah, I can definitely imagine Val wanting to go to uni. And I don't think that's like a bad thing. Like, you know, oh, well, Bowen stayed at home for her and she's not staying home at home for Bowen. Like, it's not about that. He was like looking after her. Whereas it's like a good show that she's like now progressed enough and can like go out and do her own thing. And oh my gosh, what? Rain, why have you rampaged to our door? Rain, no. No, 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 no. Why? 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 Oh my gosh. Is he here to tell us about all of his children? I don't know. Like he's just had triplets. However, one thing I do know is I downloaded a werewolf containment cell and these guys have enough money to be able to buy one. This is it. The feral containment unit. Yeah, they can't afford one in werewolves, but these guys can. So I am going to go ahead and build one down here. A special little room for when rain comes over. Just so he's got somewhere safe to go. Because I kind of want him to come down because I feel like uh, Gordon also wants to talk to him. Because last time he did this, he terrified the whole family. Like, Gordon's tried since to go around and, like, you know, make sure he knows that we're here for him. We're worried about him. Like, he doesn't need to be afraid of us. But also, we're going to lock him in a containment room. But shh. Oh, he doesn't need to think we're afraid of him, even though Loki, we kind of are. Not really selling this, am I? At the same time, he's family, and this is the not so berry household. Like, we've had our generations with, you know, some issues. So we're here for you, okay? This is this is how we roll in the not so berry household. Okay, I'm gonna get everybody else to be occupied with other things. It's Gordon I'm gonna get to go invite him in. And then do I need to like physically open this and like throw them in? I don't know. Let's open this and see. <gasps> oh gosh. And then then do I like send them in there and then get out and then close the door? I feel like that's what I do. Okay. 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 He's like fully. I don't think I could try and talk to him right now. He's fully feral. Okay. Come down here, Rain. Just come downstairs into this special cool room we've bought for you. Wow. It's so beautiful. It's not cracked and creepy looking at all. Oh my gosh. Straight in. Okay. A few more steps in there, friendo. Just, just head in. Just head in. Okay. I'm going to temporarily add Rain to the family. <gasps> They're all so small now. <gasps> oh, and then he can go in there to contain his rampage. Okay, so he's heading inside. And then... <gasps> oh, okay. I'm going to close the door for now. <gasps> okay, yeah. Let's definitely lock him in. Oh my gosh, it shakes. What? No freaking way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can I interact? Offer words of support. Okay, this is good. Gordon's outside being like... Rain, I know this is scary. And look, he's afraid. But more than anything, he's like, okay, now he's terrified. Okay, we're going to try though. Oh, well done, Opal got promoted. He's trying to offer him words of support. He's like, yes, this is difficult. It, it sounds really painful and kind of terrifying, but it's for your own good. Your family are here for you. Okay, we we got this. We'll help you through this, okay? This is, Elisa, after this, I need a drink. <laughs> he's like, you know, showing his love. This is fatherly love. These guys haven't always seen eye to eye and he'll always like think of that that'll always be on his mind when he's around rain but he's trying to do what's right despite that oh my gosh have you heard the noise oh he's so loud in there okay is everybody else safe and sound i feel like they are why don't you invite cole around to play val are you still why does this game not understand what a short dog walk is like if you send your sims on a short dog walk they'll walk for like seven hours it's ridiculous oh my gosh okay rain is still gonna be rampaging for another two hours so we've got a lot of pep talking to do here a lot of pep talking i know you really want a drink but maybe you and rain can have a little whiskey and chat afterwards okay val the dog walk has definitely put her in a better mood she she loves animals as well so i'm gonna get her to go ahead and do her test i wonder if everyone knows their brother is locked up downstairs i'm thinking probably no okay i'm gonna get these two to plan to start a food fight <laughs> and make fun of adults because adults are so lame oh you've got to do your test at school. Okay, good luck. Good luck, Val. Val Opal, not Opal Val. Liv has come to keep him company as well. Although I don't know how much that's helping, but you know, the, the intent is there. And um, let's have a look at Iris's forgery. Oh my gosh, nostalgia music. Wow, that is good. That's a freaking masterpiece. Oh my gosh, you're, you're too good at this. You're literally too good at this. It's a little bit concerning. Immediately approved. Regular work, like, you know, trying to do normal projects. The clients are a nightmare. She can never get anything approved. It's awful, but crime? Crime's easy. Crime pays. Crime is definitely a better path for her. Jeez, now she wants a punch bag. Iris, what are you becoming? <laughs> this crime art drawing bag punching maniac. I love her. <gasps> okay, Rain is back to normal. 
He's back to normal and he's out of his containment cell with his new haircut that I gave him. He also has his teethies now if you've not been watching werewolves because he reached a certain level of his like werewolfness. I now have the option, oh my freaking god, with Gordon and pregnancy and family, I can make peace with Rain and forget the bad sentiments. It took a bit of time, a bit, <laughs> like what, 35 years? But Gordon is now at peace with his child. He will do his best to be a good parent to Rain. I feel like I I could have done that so easily at any time and i know that but i think it would have been so boring to do things that way i'm glad it literally took him not being able to accept this child he didn't want this whole time and then his child literally needs him has gone through something horrific needs his dad's help and that's when he's like i accept my child no matter what what have i been thinking and then he does the right thing so they've patched things up guys and honestly, just in the nick of time, I think, because that bar is very close to the end. Anyway, I feel like the reason Rain came over is he's like, I'm a parent. I have three children. Tomorrow's the weekend. So I think we're going to go ahead and head over and meet the little triplets for these guys to meet them too. Oh, and I hope your test went well. She's back from her test. Before I add Rain back to the other, his, his actual family, I want to see like, is there any additional interactions you can do after being a wolf? I don't know. <gasps> and she's definitely going through through a phase, isn't she? She's a teenager, but she also has had a bit of a trauma in her teenhood with, with regards to her adoption and her original adoptive family. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything? I feel like she's asked Iris this because I don't have many options. So I'm going to say people like you look around. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting any extra options, but I feel like if I howl, maybe Minzy will howl back. So I'm going to do a little howl and see what happens. Okay, he howled. The dog howl back. Oh, oh, it does. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, very, very cute. Right, Rain, I need to add you back to your actual farms, I'm afraid. So move back in with Luna. There we go. But I'm really glad they've hatched it up. <laughs> cute. And he's heading off back to all of his babies now. All of his little wolfies. Little, little, I want to call them cubs. I know they're puppies, but it just feels like cubs to me. I don't know why. Um, We'll head over tomorrow. You only just got back from the test before 11, so I really hope it went well. She's not happy because there's a stranger. She doesn't really know Cole, and she gets a bit weirded out by strangers. She also doesn't really know Rain that well either. But after all that, I'm going to go ahead and send her to bed. Oh, and Bowen has a, is coming down with something. Oh no, you're, st you're starting your new job soon. A little off. Okay, I got this in werewolves with Rain. And with Rain, like this could be anything. It could be deadly illness, it could be chronic illness, or it could be chronic allergies. And Rain has chronic allergies, which is terrible for a wolf with a good sense of smell. But we'll have to see what Rain gets. Please don't be anything. No, sorry, Bowen. Oh my gosh, names. I hope it's not something serious. Okay, go to your appointment now. Wow, you're having to go to the appointment at midnight? Please don't be anything serious. Look at you just up drinking at midnight. You've changed, girl. And I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. <gasps> he got general allergies too, which means it has to be passed on through the berry line. It has to come from Liv because Gordon actually isn't Bowen's father. And part of the challenge is I can never tell anyone that. That has to be a secret I take to the grave. So yeah, he's got general allergies too. Oh no, that's... Oh, pl oh, please don't be allergic to dogs. <gasps> Can you imagine if he was allergic to dogs or cats? And he's literally going to become a vet. I might have to get him like allergy medication. Oh my gosh. That's a... Oh, that's a... Oh, hello. You're back outside again. No, you're in bed. Okay. That's like a twisted little bit of irony, isn't it? Is it ironic? I don't know. That song, ever since that song, I'm confused, you know? Gordon's woke up and immediately weed himself. Good start to the weekend. You're kind of showing your age a bit right now, I'm not going to lie. Please get rid of that. Yeah, he's he's definitely getting a bit older, guys. But he likes singing now, so I'll let him sing in the shower. Bowen, I'm going to go get his allergy shot. Hopefully that helps him. We've got breakfast being made. And once we've done a whip around of the house, because weekends are for cleaning, at least for Liv, who likes to keep a house in good shape. Then we're going to go over and see our new grandsons and granddaughters. Oh my gosh. Val's feeling rebellious. So instead of eating mum's breakfast, she is going to go ahead and sort her own meal out. So rebellious. Oh gosh, you're just so off the rails, Val. So off the rails. Okay, dogs washed and fed. This is thing as well, like, oh, she's so rebellious. She might like procrastinate instead of doing her homework. No, she just literally decides to go and prove scientific principles off her own back. So rebellious. 
So rebellious. Everyone's fed and washed and ready to go. So, Declan, no time for you, babes. We, I think, once you finish your homework, are ready to go over to Moonwood Mill, Moon Moonborough Hill, Moon Moon something, whatever that new neighborhood's called. Okay, boom, done. Right, let's go. And geez, how do you even get all of these Sims in a car? I don't even know. I can just about fit everyone in. <laughs> Moonwood Mill, there it is. And let's go see him. Okay, so we've all piled on you and... Oh, it's all the children whose names I can't say slash remember. Wait, Liv's got... Why have you got a doctor's appointment? You're feeling it? Oh my gosh, if everyone has allergies, I swear to God, I'm gonna actually just scream. So now Liv has to go to the doctor instead of meeting her grandchildren? Oh my gosh, I'm actually so mad. But... The babies are here, so you've got to tell me the names of them, game, because I'm not going to be able to remember. I'm not going to be able to remember. Let's go and say, like, wake these children up to say hello. Do some cuddles, do some hellos. This is also, oh my gosh, this noise. Ah! This is also, I think, a lot of them's first time, like, actually meeting Luna as well. So this is Aruna. That is the youngest baby, which makes this baby Artemis, who's the oldest daughter. So these girl, these are the girls. And then the middle child is the boy and he's called Lycaon. Okay, <laughs> these are hard names. And I'm trying to hear a little hole. Any little holes? I can't hear any. Why are you just stood? Why are you in the crib? Is the child in there? No, the child's here. Okay. Now, I want to hear a little, oh, woo, but like a baby one. No, that's a dog bark. That's different. Yeah, nothing. I'm getting no little, oh, woo, but I really want to. Maybe it's only crying babies that do it. Or maybe they're not actually werewolves. We don't know yet. Like, I'm sorry to subject. Oh, it did it! It did the noise! It did the noise! Okay, we know Artemis is definitely a werewolf because she she makes the noise. Ah! Oh, it's so cute! It's so freaking cute! What? Oh my gosh. Wait, you guys are like level 10 parenting. You are the best. Oh, Liv has been diagnosed with a chronic condition, anxiety. She will need to learn to manage stress through exercise or meditation as well as healthy eating. Acupuncture can also help. We've been prescribed anxiolytics and we can fill out the prescription at an online pharmacy. Where have you just suddenly developed anxiety from in your old age? Where has that come from? I don't know. But yeah, I now have the anxious trait. No way. Was it literally the fact that you've turned up and realized that your ch your family now has werewolf blood in it? Alien blood was fine, apparently, but werewolf blood is one too far. Will you make the noise? No, you just seem troubled. Yeah, I can't hear any awoos from this child. It just seems like this one so far. And oh, now you're tense. Socially anxious from being around new people. Yeah, something about the whole werewolf situation has most definitely set her off, hasn't it? Let's do some super efficient baby care with the babies. Oh my gosh, why does Minzy look so at home? here and oh bless her luna's still got a hospital gown on we really haven't given her that much time have we okay so when she's in the room with a, just the baby she's not feeling as anxious so maybe that i just need to like keep her away from like new people for like it's luna i guess she doesn't know luna maybe like when she had all of her children like in her house all of her little birdies living in the nest she didn't like feel as worried but now that they're out in the wild like making all of these decisions now she's like anxious that like oh, what if they're making bad decisions like becoming werewolves and breeding with werewolves like it's just stressing her out and why are you guys all like just stood in the hallway? This is really odd behavior. Also, I feel like, you know, little Opal chatting with Luna, she'd be like, I think she'd want to become a werewolf too. Just not, not to stress you out anymore, Liv. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, get her to like ask about like werewolves and stuff. Because I think she she probably would turn around to Luna one day and be like, can you bite me? I want to be one too. But I think Rain will literally kill her if she does that. Okay, she seems okay now, but I'm worried she's gonna... Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at her freaking out over the meat! She's fuming. Okay, this is definitely what set her off. She does not like the werewolf aspect. Is she off to go put it in the bin? Like, what is she doing with it? Is she giving it to the dog? I think she's gonna give the meat to the dog. She's like, you donut! Did you even taste this? Get out of my kitchen she hates it she literally hates it oh my gosh yeah don't eat that babes if it's gonna make you that upset and oh my gosh 
they need they need their parent their parents around oh <gasps> you you hold okay both of the girls hold both of the girls have howled, but I've not heard the boy howl. So, yeah. Oh, the little awu is so cute as well. Why do my sims keep being in the cribs? I don't know. The little awu is so cute, but oh gosh, she's stressed. She is stressed now, which sucks because she loves being around her family. But Rain and his choices have continued to stress her out. Maybe also like he was like her little favorite child golden boy and no one's good enough for my boy, you know? So maybe that's the reason as well. Maybe if I get her to chat with Luna a bit, it will help. Okay, she thinks that Luna is... She seems responsible. They both find each other responsible. I think she could get along with her, so... Yeah, it might just be fear of the unknown, you know? She's always had this very controlled life. Things of like, you know, she's always had a plan. And now her kids are not sticking to the plan. So we just gotta get her chatting with people. And okay, I'm looking at everyone's ages. Opal has a day left until she becomes a teenager. Val, you guys are sharing a birthday. <gasps> and I just got the notification about Gordon's long life coming to an end. This would be a good time to get his affairs in order. Well, I feel like I've definitely done that because he's made up with Rain and he's met his grandchildren, but... I think we're getting pretty close, guys, to the end of Not So Very entirely. Wow. Val has a day left till she ages up. Bowen is just like mid, mid young adults. Iris is almost an adult now, but she doesn't want to move out because she wants to look after her parents. And Gordon's bar will start glowing, I believe. He's 93 years old, though, you know? So he's definitely lived for a very, very long time. But I feel like his time is starting to come to an end and geez they're all being forced to eat raw meat <laughs> i think everyone's freaked out by the food you guys could have at least cooked something if you knew family was coming you didn't have to serve us raw meat you know so yeah i think this is probably the biggest the family's gonna be i feel like after this the family's gonna start getting a oh my gosh i just got it for live as well yeah the family is definitely gonna start getting a little bit smaller but i'm glad at least we met one like set of grandchildren with gordon and Liv and triplets no less which makes our oh god he's glowing it makes our family tree pretty freaking huge now which i think is really cool this is oh my it doesn't even fit all on one screen but it just goes on and on and on and on and it's it's a big family from minzy right at the top our tree goes oh my gosh the tree's wild which one's where is our branch here okay so yeah it's a pretty huge branch at this point there are so our genes have gone so far and wide so far and wide sometimes it's looked a little bit more like spaghetti than it has a family tree but for the most part we've kept the line pretty good i would say and this is technically gen 11 so i have done 11 gens as part of not so very and i'm really glad that gordon's got his affairs in order i guess with Liv, i've done everything like i did everything that she set out to do in her life so her affairs are pretty in order as well she's maybe just anxious because she knows she's getting old she's it's coming towards the end of her time um maybe she's not quite ready like she doesn't want to leave her babies behind but i think they've got it under control i do think they do and they're all gonna look after each other no matter what as well, so... Okay, we've bothered these poor people enough. It's 10 p.m. now. Let's head home. If I play another episode of Werewolves, these guys will probably just die. And then they will just be gone, which would totally suck. So I'm gonna keep on aging. Only active household, not all played households. So when we go to Werewolves next time, these guys don't, like, just die in the background. I'd wanted to play a few more days today. But yeah, as usual, so much has happened in just a few days. Like rain coming over, building the containment love, and like so much craziness has happened that we've ended up playing less days than I originally planned. But I think next time is going to be chaotic. I think next time we could have two birthdays. Um, potentially two deaths as well. I also really want to try Rowan's new uh, career because... No, Bowen's. Bowen's new career because I've never tried this veterinarian career on anyone before. So veterinarian. I think I say that wrong. Vet. I've never tried that before. So that could be super exciting to try as well. But... We will go ahead and give that a go in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this one, please go ahead and show it some love. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.